How to install Leather Pros saddlebags on a 2007 Harley Davidson Dyna. I'm gonna rate the difficulty of this job by how many trips it takes to the hardware store. I'll just pop up a number there. Hopefully it's not a very big number. Let's get started. We basically need to get these two bolts out and install the bolts that came with the bags. Ooh, what up? Yo. Quick shout out to Iron Steed Harley Davidson in Vacaville, California for hooking me up with these bags. I've been wanting them for a very long time. The reason that I didn't get them before is because they had like an eight week lead time, if not greater. Iron Steed had these in stock, so I was able to pick them up and uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Awesome stuff. But anyway, when you get your box from Leather Pros, it should include your two bags, one for each side. Paper with words on it. Packaging, another paper with words, and oh god, oh god, I hope it, oh god, I don't know where it went. So, uh oh, there's a piece, okay. Bag of hardware, another bag of hardware. I'm guessing the words on the paper tell me where all the hardware, how it goes. It comes with a sticker, that's gonna add about uh, Six horsepower. The back of these bags look real complicated out and there's a whole mechanism here for it to go. Oh, that's the lock on the thing. Um, we're gonna get to that. Let's get the bolts off of the fender and uh, put the mounting brackety jiggers on. So on your dyna, there's gonna be two fender bolts here that you'll wanna pull out. Mine's gonna look a little different because I had the other saddlebags attached on there, so I'm pulling out these brackets. It's not gonna quite look the same. Oh yeah. All right, just to show you guys how easy it is to install these bags, uh, this is all the hardware you need. It comes with four two and a half inch bolts. You'll be using these if you don't have a detachable backrest or anything. If you have like a detachable sissy bar or whatnot, they do include a longer three inch bolt. Um, you've also got these grooved docking points, some chrome spacers, and then some crimped jam nuts, uh, which are excellent. You'll, anything you put on the bike, uh, with this, you want to use the blue Loctite they recommend. I'll probably use a spot of red because I don't want this stuff to come off. You're going to take your new hardware, and the way that you're going to line this up is having that groove towards the back there, and that's exactly what they show on the picture. Chrome spacer. And that's it, baby. Bada boom, bada bing. It's going right in there. Okay, so I keep running into this issue with my bike in particular, and it may be something that you also run into, so I don't want you to panic, and maybe this will help you out if it does happen to you. Trying to thread in these new bolts, it's very hard, and it almost feels like it's cross-threading. If you can't turn it by hand, or if there's a ton of resistance when you're trying to put these new bolts in, don't keep trying to screw them in because you will cross-thread it, you're gonna junk up your threads. And I already checked with Harley, the new fender strut that goes in the back of there, um, they're like 30 or 40 bucks each and you have to order them and it takes a while to get parts right now And if the old bolt uh, goes in okay, but the new bolt from leather pro won't take the old bolt Dip it in a little bit of grease and then start to thread it through it should go much easier and what you're trying to do basically is clean up the threads and the grease will help get rid of some of that friction. Also had to grease up the new one to get it in there. I can just use a little bit of parts cleaner, brake cleaner and spray it off so that I can use my Loctite. This has already worked for me like three times on this same fender strut. I don't know how those threads are holding up. <laughs> and look at that. Got them both in. Anyway, your hair for the saddlebags. So that should have been much simpler. Well, let's get back to it. All right, so we got the two mounting brackets on there. Pretty simple stuff. Um, on the back of this one, it does stick out a little bit. You are gonna put that locking nut on there, the crimp nut. Now, let's get to sliding on the bag. All right, so what you're looking at here is the backing plate. And what we're gonna do is, you can kind of see there's some movement from this handle here when I jingle it around. There's a lever here. See that there? We're gonna pull that up, lift it all the way up here. What we're trying to do, push that back down, is there's a square open space here. We want to get this to move all the way up here. So again, pick that up, slide it all the way. What that's going to allow us to do is adjust 
this little nut right in here. If I'm moving it this way, it's gonna be looser or the other way will be tighter. The instructions say you're gonna have to adjust it from the factory, so we're gonna do our best here to try and, now we're gonna try and get it on. Too loose. Far too loose. I still think it's too loose. I think third time's a charm. Damn, baby, come on. There's that little latch that we pulled up before. Pull that up. Ooh, we're right in the sissy bar. Ooh, man. Lift that all the way up. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Slide it right back over. Your holes into the docking points. And push that down. Hi, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Putting on the new saddlebags. Now I can fit all my things on my bike. I could practically get in this bag. I could, I could probably, if it could hold my weight. Cool. All right, so. Oops. Oh, Barn. Oh, Barney. Barney, you'd fit in these bags. Where are you, my love? Hi, come on. It's okay. Look at mama's new bag. Pfft. He said, I don't think so, mom. Pfft. Fine. Hello, Mr. Bonnie. So besides these bags being absolutely wonderfully enormous and large, they look very well built and man, they just look so good. They look so good. And then on the inside, they do have a way to lock these things on. So when you turn it to the left, that is locked. That means if somebody tries to pull up this lever, there's a lever on the opposite side that is going to stop it from opening up so they can't just pop them off. Damn, so easy, you can't go wrong. All right, it's getting hot and sweaty in the garage here, but you kind of get the gist. I'm not gonna show you how to do the other side because it's the exact same process. So I'm gonna get that done and we'll be back when I have the other side installed. Boom, we're back, baby. That's it, got the other saddlebag on and it is looking Fantastic. And I got my uh, Biltwell Exfil 80 bag mocked up here. I'm gonna have so much space for this trip. It is going to be ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is the most space I've ever had on any motorcycle trip to be able to pack stuff. I know you're, some of you guys who are like OCD are probably like, what is this on the bag? Well, the St. Bernard, our St. Bernard drooled on it. He came out here at some point in the last uh, month or so. So I've had these bags for a minute. Drooled on it, haven't been able to get it off. So it's forever marked on there. <laughs> I've ridden a ton of different bikes and uh, used a plethora of all kinds of different saddlebags. And I can already tell, I freaking love these, man. Um, worth every penny, absolutely. Why are they so expensive? Why do they take so long to get? Because they are worth it, 100%. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like if this video helped you. If you wanna give me that extra spicy love, $1 a month Patreon, you get to watch videos, early access, behind the scenes, stuff that's never gonna be on YouTube. Thanks to all my new patrons who have been popping in lately. I really appreciate you guys. You are awesome. For the rest of you, you're pretty okay too. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.